Hi guys, kamusta po kayo ngayon? Ako po si Sean and today I want to talk about where in the United States is the best place to work and live as a staff nurse. I've worked across the country from East Coast to West Coast and with my own experience and the experiences of my fellow Filipino nurses that I've come across over the years, I can finally try to answer this question. Now, there are a great many places that have worked well for other Filipino nurses, but the state that constantly received the best praise was, drum rolls please, California. I'm telling you this as someone who has previously said that I will never work in Cali and that I will be loyal to my home state of New Jersey and the remainder of the tri-state area, New York, New York and Connecticut, plus maybe Pennsylvania, and maybe the DMV area, DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Call me a traitor, right? Now, there are many nurses who have initially worked in Cali, but have never tried to work in another state. So can location bias be involved? I counter this by also talking to Filipino nurses that have come from other states and have traveled to Cali for work, and most of them do agree that Cali seemed to be the heaven of U.S. nursing. Now, I am sure many of you are aware of this, but Cali has been known to be the strictest state to get a license from, and it is not an exaggeration when I tell you that there are many Filipino nurses that have taken over 10 years to finally get that license. Many have even had to pay tens of thousands of dollars to re-educate in the U.S just to be approved for the license. The pandemic did soften the restrictions though, and plenty have received their licenses over the past two years. Now, what makes Cali so great? The quick answer is that nurses are protected by a nursing union. The nursing unions in Cali have a great deal of power and thus they can ensure that nurses in Cali are treated and compensated well more so than their counterparts elsewhere in the nation. Cali nurses have some of the highest salaries across the country. Cali is the only place I have traveled to that enforce mandatory breaks and many places in the state give 1.5 times pay when you work over eight hours. I actually got paid extra money if the hospital was not able to provide me a break within the first five hours of work. Ratios are also mandated by law, so say goodbye to that triple assignment in the ICU or 10 patients in med surge. Now, people say that on, the only problem with Cali are the high taxes and high cost of living. If you factor in the pay against the cost of living index, I still believe it will come out on top. Now, there are certain ways to maximize your income in Cali. What other nurses have done is to find the best place that has a lower cost of living with higher pay. An example of this is Sacramento. Since Sacramento still gets Bay Area pay with a way lower cost of living, lots of Filipino nurses move from the Bay Area to Sacramento. However, Due to the pandemic and lots of remote work opportunities for Bay Area tech workers, the housing market in Sacramento have been rising incredibly quick, but of course it still won't match the craziness of Bay Area housing. Last, you will find much support if you choose to work as a nurse in Cali. Even hospitals at remote areas seem to always have a Filipino nurse. Of course, if you go to the metropolitan areas, the hospitals will have many Filipinos with some units even being overwhelmingly Filipino. If I ever become a staff nurse again, I would choose Cali. Out of all the states, I'll choose Cali. And if you do get stuck with not getting a nursing license in Cali, I could tell you what the second best state is. And that's going to be maybe in the next video or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon.